I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market, and congratulations, you have just purchased the Mila CX-1 Blizzard Pure Suction Canister Vacuum Cleaner. So you have just purchased a bagless canister, so I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of maintaining and changing your filters and your emptying your dustbin. And then I'm gonna show you all of the things that you should have received in your your box and so what I would like you to do right now is to take this time to unbox everything and make sure that you have everything that is shown here on this table and then come back to this video and start pressing play again and then I'm going to show you a little bit more about each component that you see here. So now that you have unboxed everything, this is should this should be everything that you have. You should have your canister body, you should have your telescoping wand, your hard flooring attachment, your combination dual functioning attachment, your upholstery tool, your crevice tool, your manual, and your hose. And your hose and your handle are already connected. So, you know, just make sure you have your, <laughs> your hose there. So once you verify that you have all of these components, um, then you're ready to get cleaning. So I'm gonna show you how to do just that. So this is your electric telescoping wand and how it telescopes is if you are holding it from this side, so the smaller side away from you, there's like a little sleeve. And if you squeeze it, you can extend your wand or you can retract your wand. So this is really good because it gives you an added cleaning reach um, to what you're trying to clean. So if you need to get cobwebs or down low, if you need to get under couches or furniture, it's really gonna help you add that length that you need. So this is your parquet twister hard flooring attachment and it has bristles of varied lengths on the underside of it. So this is for hard flooring. If you try to vacuum your carpets with this, you'll probably laugh because it's kind of a monster. Uh, but this is amazing on hard flooring. So you just vacuum and then mop and you are ready to go. It's a huge time saver. You don't have to sweep anymore. This is your dual function attachment and this will toggle between any low pile or delicate carpeting that you have that cannot be used with a, that cannot be cleaned with a spinning brush roll and then also any and all hard flooring. And how it does that is you have a lever on the side of this tool and if you push it, you will extend bristles and this will protect your hard surfaces. And then if you press it the other way, it'll retract those bristles in the head. And this is ideal if you are looking for kind of like a quick clean, like just leave, a lot of people just leave this on their machine at all times. And it's like their daily pickup tool because you can toggle between your two um, flooring, your different flooring um, very easily. Um, but to get a really good deep clean on your hard flooring, I personally always love switching to the hard flooring attachment. But this is a really good tool. If you have delicate carpeting, like if you have wool or silk area rugs or carpeting, you cannot use a spinning brush roll on, that's gonna be your lifesaver. So this is your hose and attached to your handle is your dusting brush. So this, if you press it and push it out, that will be how you are gonna clean any specialty, like if you have delicate um, furniture, if you want to clean your blinds or your baseboards, um, it's right stored in your handle, which is a very convenient, easy to reach, and you don't have to worry about losing it, which is always a nice feature, I think, because I always lose my cleaning attachments. I leave them all around the house. So on your canister, I'm going to show you how, uh, where your name is and how to find your serial number. So if you turn your canister around, there's going to be a silver sticker on the back side with the wheels. So this silver sticker is going to have two things. It's going to have your serial number and it's going to have your model number. So your serial number is going to start with a zero, zero slash and then a nine digit number. And that's your serial number. That's what you're going to use for any warranty aspects that you have. Um, Anytime you need to contact us about um, anything, you'll either need your serial number or your model number. And your model number is also on the silver sticker. And it starts with an S and it's gonna be followed by either numbers or letters or a combination of both. And 
Then if you turn your vacuum around below the Mila logo, your vacuum has a name. So it's going to say Blizzard Pure Suction. And the reason why I'm telling you this is a little kind of to help you, but also to help us as well. Because if we know exactly what model you have, we can tell you all of the things that will work with your model. And any if you need any replacement parts, it's very easy for us to um, share that information with you. So on the front of your machine, again, uh, there's going to be two large buttons. One is going to have a circle with a line through it, and that's your power button. That's going to turn your machine on and off. The other button is a cord winder button. So it's going to have this little circle, and it's going to have like a little outlet, a little cord with an outlet on it. That winds your cord into the canister body. So that's how you are going to, you're going to pull out your cord. And then once you're done cleaning, you've unplugged it from the wall, you're going to push that button and it's going to retract your cord into the canister body, which is very, very convenient. So you don't have to worry about winding that cord anymore. Your vacuum has four suction settings. You have, it goes from very, very low to high. So your lowest suction setting would be if you're gonna turn your dial all the way to the left. And that's gonna be for any delicate cleaning you're gonna be doing, um, like drapery, when you don't wanna like suck the whole <laughs> curtain into your machine. I've done that so many times. Um, and then your next one is gonna be your area rug set, um, setting, then your carpeting setting, and then finally all the way to the right is like a parquet and that's your hard flooring setting. Personally, I always keep my vacuum on maximum suction, unless like I say, I would like to suck my curtains into my vacuum cleaner. Um, I leave it on maximum suction because I found that is the um, best way to clean all of um, your hard flooring surfaces um, and any carpeting. Um, and then the only time I really turn down my suction is if I'm gonna do something like I'm gonna do um, like delicate furniture or if I'm gonna do the drapery or blinds, then you don't need as much suction power. But when you're cleaning your hard surfaces and your carpeting, you usually wanna have it on max suction because you want it to be getting everything out of your, your carpeting and off of your hard flooring. So I'm gonna show you now a little bit about your, how to um, empty your dust bin and then how to maintain your filters. So if you turn your vacuum, if you put it on um, the floor or a hard surface like this, you are going to pull up on this little lever and pull this whole entire compartment out. This compartment is your dustbin. So this is where all the debris that you are cleaning out of your home is going to end up in. And how you are going to empty that is this orange little lever will release the bottom and then that will go into your trash. So just hold this over your trash can, push that button. And then you don't have to touch anything. You don't have to breathe anything. It's very hygienic and safe. And then on the top portion, there's another little handle that you push up. This is your other filter. And then you are going to be washing both of these um, at least once a month. That's going to preserve um, your vacuum and it's going to help your vacuum breathe. And then therefore, it's going to help your vacuum last longer. So inside your canister, there's your HEPA filter. So you are going to need to pull it this way and then pull it out. So I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna do that. So this is a little like round cylindrical piece and then you are gonna turn it and pull it out and then you're also gonna wash these once a month as well. So make sure that after you're washing your filters, you are letting them thoroughly dry because if you don't let them dry, um, moisture will kill your vacuum cleaner. So once you wash your filters, make sure you're letting them dry. They say to dry them in direct sunlight, but you know, for not for everybody, that's not always possible. So just make sure you're letting them dry for a couple days. And then what you're putting back in your machine is completely dry. There is no moisture. You, you want to keep this machine as long as possible. So then to put this back into your canister, you're going to use this side and you're going to just slide it in. And then you're going to push down on this and that'll lock it into place. And then you have your cleaning attachments that are stored on the body of your canister, which is a really nice feature of this model. So your upholstery tool stores on that side and then your crevice tool stores on this side. So you have them with in easy reach and you can clean to your heart's desire. So 
And then don't forget you have your dusting brush that is connected to your handle. So once you have your vacuum and attachments all set up, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to connect your hose. So your hose, this side is gonna go into the canister right here. And you may or may not hear a click, but if you just wanna like wiggle it a little bit, you can see that it's connected. There we go. So this, um, you can, this is like a great feature. You can obviously clean, um, extend your dusting brush, or if you want, you can put your attachments on the end of your handle, or you can put your um, upholstery tool or your crevice nozzle. So this is a really nice thing. This is how I clean my cars. I don't need the added length of the wand. So um, that's a really nice thing. So then to set your vacuum up, you're gonna take your wand and you're gonna attach it to your handle. And you're gonna hear a click. And again, to extend it, you just push that. And then you can attach your flooring attachments. So I always like to show how you can do this. Hold on, let me move this around. I always turn it the opposite way. Here we go. So there's a little reservoir. And so this is a really nice thing to show you because if you need to, you know, stop cleaning because you have to go pick up some toys, you know, the kids or the dogs have left stuff on the floor and you have to go quickly pick it up. It's really nice. You don't have to turn your vacuum on. You can just put it in um, this little reservoir and then you can keep cleaning. So um, this is the Mila Blizzard CX-1 Pure Suction. I hope that I did it justice and um, was able to explain to you a little bit of the, the components um, and then everything that you can do with those. So try not to clean too much now. But if you have any other questions, we are here and happy to help. We have live US-based customer service support. You can reach us via the live um, chat feature on our website. You can email us or you can give us a phone call. We're always here and happy to help. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.